Hey guys, this is Quilla Potato and welcome to my first video of this channel. I'm going to be uh, doing a review of this awesome tier 5 French light tank called the ELC AMX, recently changed to AMX ELC BIS. So yeah, let's get started. First with the stats. So this tank has 400 hit points, pretty average for a tier 5 light tank, not that good. Kind of low, yeah, like I said, pretty average. The weight is really light, which is it's a really nice fit with this engine power. So, with the combination of the weight and the engine power, it can quickly reach its top speed of 65 kilometers per hour. The armor, not good, but it's a light, can't really expect much. 25 frontally, 10 on the sides. And 15 on the back, and for the turret, 20, 20 on the front, 15 on the sides, and 10 on the back. And now, the gun. This is the beauty of this tank. It is a 90mm gun, 5 rounds per minute, 170 penetration of AP, which is really nice, considering it's a light tank, 248 average penetration with the uh, APCR and 45 of HE which is well yeah nice now the damage is also really nice adding up with the penetration 240 with AP and APCR and 320 with HE the aiming time is pretty long but yeah it's not that bad because the maximum aim is quite good okay so, the build that I like to use is with uh, medium caliber tank gun rammer, camouflage net, and binoculars. But I was thinking of that once I get a full camouflage crew, I'll get rid of the camouflage net and replace it with imp uh, ventilation so I can increase the crew skills. And once I get a good view range crew, I'll change this with coated optics so I can always get that maximum 500 meter view range, which is pretty cool. So now let's go into tank inspector quick and see how good the armor is. So guys, here we are in tank inspector with the ELC AMX, and so let's check out this tank's armor. So frontally on the hull, it's like 30, 29 on the lower part where the engine is so if you shoot here you will penetrate because of the amount the low amount of armor and you can most likely cripple this tank and set it on fire up here the upper plate and the front of the turret 20 yeah 20 30 the cheeks 15 16 pretty easy if we got mantlet um like 25 30 but it's not really going to protect you. It's so small. Sides, 15 millimeters, easy to penetrate. And the back, 15 and 10. 10, <laughs> pretty bad. And easy to penetrate. So basically, if you're going to shoot this tank, just well, shoot it with high explosive. Because it's always going to pen. Unless you shoot the tracks, because then it will absorb. Now I'm going to get into some ace tanky gameplay. Be back now. So here we are in airfield in the ELC AMX. We managed to get ourselves into some pretty cool matchmaking. So on airfield on this side, I like to go to an area over here. There's a nice rock that I like to hide behind and get some spots and some shots to enemies over here. Now if I was on the enemy side, then I would come up here. There's a nice rock with sort of in a uh, sort of, it's got a sort of incline where you can just sort of hide your tank in. There's a nice bush that you can shoot from and hardly get spotted. So you can shoot enemies coming from here. So now that's the rock there that I'm talking about. You'll see me go there now. So now that I'm here, I'm going to be getting into a nice position to get some spots to the enemies around here and here. And if they decide to come across. So there's the first spot, KV85. Not gonna shoot him even if I could. 
because it's not worth it right now. Because I'll just get spotted. Now, I really have no idea what this VK is doing. He's just... He came up, got spotted. Just gets killed. I honestly don't know what he was doing. Don't do that in your VK, guys. So now we'll just wait for a bit. See if we get some more spots. So the T1 ten the T one fifty is coming up. See if we can shoot him. And then just before he came up, he was unspotted. He was spotted up, but um, I didn't shoot him there because I don't think it was worth it. Because the shell might not have hit him. And it's yeah, I would still get spotted from shooting. Now here's this Chaffee. Luckily he got shot by one of our allies, so we can easily finish him off. He spotted us though, which is bad. But at least he was taken out before he could shoot me. Or any allies. So now I'm just staying here to in cover from artillery fire and waiting until I get unspotted. Pre-aiming at where I think the KV-85 is going to come, and he pulls back at the last second. That sucks. And now the Invincible A-20 bounces 170 millimeters of penetration. That's like... Terrible. I mean, really. 170 millimeters. <laughs> yeah, now you see me. I, I appear to be running away, so he chases me. But inside this enclave, I turn around and take him out. So now I'm going to go help out the OIXP against two tanks. He shuts down the KV-85 and artillery takes down the T-67. And he will take down the T-28 of course. <laughs> Which sucks. But at least he managed to take him out without letting the T-28 kill him. So now I'm going to be getting into these bushes here, the spots up there, by the M6, and the spot over here, and here, like with T1 Heavy. Now this is the awesome camera rating and, and view range of the ELC. I can just shoot him without him spotting me, which is really nice. Now it's poor T1 Heavy, the perfect target for an ELC AMX. It's big, he's slow, and it's not camera rating at all. So, rip. Boom. Dead. Now I was hoping that I could spot the F3 fear floor, but he obviously went around the corner. But I spot an SE100, so we can feast on him. Well, not feast, because he gets unspotted. Yeah. So now I wait around here for a bit. Yeah, trying to get more spots. Looking for a shot on this M801. But the next one should take him out soon. And he does. So now I'll go back to this bush, see if I can get more spots on the SU-100. Nope, nothing. So I haven't been getting any spots or damage for quite a while now, so I decided it's time to move on, get help out the OIXP, get more damage. Now I see the speed of this tank, and how fast it can move around. It's going up the hills, it feels nothing, coming around these corners really well. Now get into a bush, see if I can spot anything. I was hoping I spot that, but I didn't. So now I move a bit closer, see if I can spot the next, uh, the last artillery. And here he is, the grill. Now just before I shoot, 
the OIXP managed to take him out, which I would have really liked that one shot. Would have increased my damage a lot and helped me get my second mark, which is I really want that. So now I'm just hiding behind these buildings so that I can stop the two tank destroyers on the enemy team from shooting me. And it turns out it's a good thing I did that. So OIXV managed to get a good shot into the SE100. And now, I knew there was a guy up in this area. I was aiming at him and everything. I, I sh really should have shot it blindfired into the bush. Bad play by me. He was taking, get staying up by the OI experimental. And then we take out the final enemy, the SU-100, in a nice close quarters combat. That is what awesomeness of the EOS here. It's a really nice hit and run vehicle. Just ru You just drive in there, shoot, drive away. It has the mobility to get around the battlefield really easily. And altogether a good tank. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Likes, comments, subscribes, all that stuff. After all, it's my first video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. And I hope it gave you guys uh, a good overview of the ELC. So, thank you again for watching. See you all next time. Bye. Yeah.